Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of Tech Tips. My name is Lucier, and this week we will talk about how we could export and import our different MWF settings in a more efficient way. Now we all know if we simply go up to the Structsoft Solution tab, we can export our templates by simply opening the template manager and exporting all our different templates onto a location of our tool. We could do the same thing for our markers, simply hit the export button, same thing for a template map, same thing for a project material scheme, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, we are able to, with the new global settings, import, export, to export all these different settings in one go. Simply go up to your settings tab, global settings, import, export, choose a location where you want to export the file. So I'm going to go ahead and export it into the MWF data folder. Simply hit the export button. It is going to export all 12 categories. Once it's exported, we can go ahead and send it via email to our clients, to, sorry, to our colleagues, to our own home computer, etc. And then simply import it into a new project. So I'm going to go ahead and close this project, open up a completely blank Revit project with no MWF data whatsoever, choose a structural template, and then import my different settings in there. You will notice that it also it exported as a zip file. We simply import that zip file back in. We don't need to unzip it. We're simply going to go back into our Structsoft Solution tab. You will notice that there is no markers loaded at all. We're simply going to go ahead into our global settings, import, export, and simply choose a location for which to import back our settings. We go ahead and select our MWF data folder and import back our zip file. So it is importing back all 12 of our categories. While this is importing, I'm going to go ahead and unzip this file for you just so we can see more in depth as to what exactly we exported and what we're importing back in. Now, after you unzipped it, you have the choice to import only certain things that you exported. So you may export all your settings, but just want to import in your project material scheme in your markers, for example. You simply unzip it, and you will notice that we export our drawing settings, our template maps, our different markers, project material scheme positioning data, our project option, et cetera, et cetera. I'm simply going to go ahead and close this. It is importing all our different markers now. These are the big markers. It's uh, These are the rule sets it's importing, so it is taking a little bit longer. It's going to go a lot faster once it goes through the first 10, 15. Once we're done that, we're, we're ready to frame with MWF. We can be assured that we have the same exact options that our colleagues have. So this is where it starts picking up speed. And obviously, the quicker your computer, the faster it's going to run through all these import and upgrade. Once the import is complete, we can go ahead and close those. And we will notice we have our different templates along with our markers, for example.